Yo, what's up guys? Sloth the Boat here, and uh, guess what? I'm doing another video. Um, you guys might not have expected it, but yes, I do make videos in case if you're wondering. And today, out of my topic bucket, I have picked why, to, I have picked to explain why a pound of bricks is heavier than a pound of feathers. Now, some of you guys, have, some of you main, mainstream people think that they're equal, but I'm actually here to bust that myth. And you know why? Because I'm, I just feel sorry for how idiotic you guys are. When I, I'm, just, I'm just sitting there minding my own business, and I hear people actually think that they're the same weight. Wrong. Now, if it was like a liter of feathers is equal to like a couple centimeters of brick, sure, more reasonable. But a pound of feathers and a pound of bricks? Come on, man, you're gonna have to come up with a better reason than that. <laughs> All right, so our first point is that feathers are lighter. So, if you were to drop a feather and you were to drop a brick, when would they land? Wrong. They would, they would land. In the same place? No. Different places? No. Different time? Yes. As you can see, whenever you drop... Here, I'll do a demonstration. So, I have a grape and I have a paper towel. Now, when I drop it, look. As you can see, you didn't get to see the end product, but you could see that the paper towel actually left the frame later than the grape did. So that means that actually the grape is heavier than the paper towel because this is calculated to be a pound of paper towel and this is a pound of grape. Um, on to my next point. Uh, the wind actually takes the feathers whenever it falls down, causing more air resistance and actually making the feather lighter. But when the brick is dropped, it's dropped and the wind, it's not strong, the wind isn't strong enough. Nothing is stronger than a falling brick. No wind, no nothing. The brick will hit the ground and it will hit the ground fast. And it is heavier. Because, um, and whenever you're weighing it on the scale, the wind may push the feather down. Even though it may say a pound, it's actually heavier. And if you have a brick, wind's not going to really affect your, uh, your measuring. Um, another point, my third, maybe my final, we'll see if I can think of another one. But anyways, um, feathers come from birds, okay? Birds weigh, all right, if you have a pound of birds, in a pound of bricks, what's going to be heavier? Oh, that's right, the bricks. Because the bricks are in a compact square shape, and the bird is in more of a quadrilateral, which, in case of you don't know, it means something with three sides. So, we have the bird, and we have the feather, and we have the brick. So, would it be if a bird has feathers, would it be equal to a pound of bricks? No, it wouldn't. Do you want me to explain? You're right, you don't want me to explain, but I will. So, the bird is alive and it has organs in it. From what, we, from what scientists believe, bricks do not have organs. We might have to test that in a further video, but for now, we have no clue. So we're just gonna go with the scientific explosion. Um, so if we were to cut up on a brick, nothing, brick, more brick. So that means the pound of bricks is actually, or pound of brick, is actually filled with even more bricks, making it more poundy. But the, um, the feathers, if you cut it open or cut the bird open, there's probably going to be some blood in there. Um, maybe some potato wedges, cookie maybe, but that's really adding on to more. Like, if you think about it, this whole, this whole conversation is just nonsense. It's easily a brick is more heavier than a pound of feathers. Um, if you have any more 
points you want to add on to that, or if you want to make a counterclaim, go on ahead. You're not going to get anywhere, but it's worth the shot. Um, so yeah, I guess you could go with that, but I'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe.